So the next question I have is this, it's not really new technology, it's been in our bodies forever, microRNA. It's, uh, you know, works with DNA, but I think a lot of people don't really understand what microRNA is. We're hearing this a lot. I'm seeing it Googled, which is really cool to see the people are finding out this information. But can you explain what microRNA is and then also how it relates to prostate cancer and what may happen in the future? There's a lot of discussion about microRNA because it's a fairly recent uh, uh, discovery as to what it actually does. Uh, there's been awareness that there's little uh, RNA molecules floating in our blood and it's never really been known in the past what they do. But over the last five, ten years it's been sorted out that these are uh, regulatory signaling molecules. The bodies that we have are in dynamic flux. You know, we eat, we sleep, uh, we're moving around, we're going from hot places to cold places. Um, you know, we exercise, our muscles get bigger. So the body is reacting to its environment all the time, but how does it react? And the answer is through these microRNAs. There's, there are sensors and, uh, and our, the, the genetics then develop these little signaling molecules that talk to these various organs and cause your muscles to get bigger or your, or your temperature to go up and all these different things. Mutations in certain microRNAs where these microRNAs are inactivated can uh, predict when certain individuals might have uh, side effects, uh, toxicity from various types of cancer treatments. In other words, when someone is given a cancer treatment, uh, the destructive force is aimed at the cancer, but there's usually some uh, spillover, some overspray onto the surrounding normal cells. And if those cells don't uh, react appropriately due to these mutations in microRNA, that patient will have more side effects. So if we can detect those microRNAs in advance, we can advise patients that, well, maybe you shouldn't have radiation or maybe you shouldn't have uh, this new immune therapy or maybe this chemotherapy would be too toxic for you, just based on a blood test. So this is still in development. Uh, there's pre preliminary work being done at UCLA and other places that looks pretty hopeful that uh, uh, the patients that ha seem to have Rare side effects, one out of 20 patients will have radiation and, and uh, we've known this a long time, just have a lot more side effects than we would expect. And uh, those patients may be identifiable now with these microRNA assays. Oh, well, that can really save us from a lot of pain. Exactly. Wow. So you mentioned UCLA. Um, on March 28th, we're having our mid-year conference. And so we're actually, Joanne Weedhouse is going to be speaking. She's from UCLA and she's done a ton of research in microRNA when it comes to prostate cancer and actually in radiation. So if you would like more information about that, you can visit our website at pcri.org. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you know, we are here for you, so you can go ahead and visit us at pcri.org and get in contact with us. Uh, please subscribe to our videos so that you can get more content like this, and give us a thumbs up if you like the questions. And if you have a question you would like me to ask Dr. Scholz or any of our experts in the future, you can leave it in the comment section below. We hope you have a great week. We love you very much. See you later.